Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. Well, let's take a look at the government measures to intervene in the foreign exchange market and understanding what they are. And this is sort of <clears throat> a video that you should watch maybe after you watch the managed exchange rate video or after you understand the differences and the advantages and disadvantages of high or strong exchange rates or, or weak exchange rates. So what does the government actually do? Why would they get involved in the foreign exchange market for their own currency? Let's take a look. So there are a number of reasons why the government would get involved in the foreign exchange uh, market for its, its own particular currency. Okay, what are they? Number one, they may want to lower the exchange rate in order to increase employment. Okay, they may wish to raise the exchange rate in order to fight inflation. They may wish to maintain a fixed exchange rate. Governments might get involved in the foreign exchange market over their own currency to avoid large fluctuations. They might get involved in the foreign exchange market to influence the value of their own currency to achieve relative exchange rate stability in order to prove business confidence. Or, lastly, they may get involved in the foreign exchange market to improve a current account deficit, which is where spending on imported goods and services is greater than spending greater than revenue received from exported goods and services. So here's a great example of the multiple layers of economics and why it's important and how how difficult really economics can be because what you're going to now and exciting it's not just difficult it's exciting you're taking exchange rates which is a one unit in international economics and you're applying it to unemployment which is a macroeconomic economic thing right? Inflation, macroeconomic thing. Business cycle, macroeconomic thing. Improved current account deficit, which, by the way, is an international uh, economic concept. So there's four different parts of the IB syllabus where this is going to, you're going to need this information um, to be able to write a good evaluation, okay? That makes it really cool. You see the multiple layers, the multiple interactions, the multiple uh, outcomes that can happen as a result of the change in one particular area of the economy and its effect other in other places. Okay, the second... Oh, so the first way that the governments might attempt to manipulate the exchange rate, right, is by using their reserves of foreign currencies to buy or sell foreign currencies. Okay, so if the government wishes to increase the value of its currency, it can use its reserves of foreign currencies to buy its own currency on the foreign exchange market. This will increase the demand for its currency and so push up the exchange rate. Pretty straightforward. The government may use its foreign reserves to buy or sell, right, its own currency in the same way if the government wishes to lower the value of its currency and simply buys foreign currencies on the foreign exchange market, increasing the foreign exchange reserves, then the value of its own currency will go down. Okay? To buy foreign currency, the government uses its own currency, and this increases supply of the currency in the foreign exchange market, and so it lowers the exchange rate. Okay, so there you have it. The first reason why how, or how governments attempt to manipulate their exchange rate. And here is the second. By changing interest rates. Okay, so this is another way that governments attempt to manipulate the exchange rate. So they can buy currency directly or sell their own currency directly. Or the central bank can manipulate its interest rates and this will have effect on the exchange rate of its country. So what does that mean? So if the government wishes to in increase the value of the currency, then they may raise the level of interest rates in the country. What's that going to do? This will make the domestic interest rates, <clears throat> that should say, relatively higher than those abroad and should attract financial investment from abroad. In order to put money into the country, investors will have to buy the country's currency, thus increasing the demand for it, and so it's the exchange rate. So if, if interest rates are higher in the United States than they are in the European Union, then if you're a European citizen, it would be better for you to save your money in the United States. So high, in, why? Because you'll get a bigger return on it. So if interest rates are higher in the United States, European citizens right, will sell their euros, buy dollars, 
and therefore the country's currency will have an increased demand on the world market and the dem and the exchange rate will rise okay if the governments in the same way wish to lower the value of their currency they may lower the level of interest rates in that country, which would make saving in the United States, in my example, less attractive. Right? This will make the domestic interest rate relatively lower than those abroad and should make financial investment uh, abroad more attractive. So that means that if you're a European citizen and interest rates in the United States have gone down be below the European Union levels, then why would you take your euros and buy dollars? You wouldn't. In fact, you're going to keep your euros. And in fact, people in the United States would be like, whoa, I can get more return on my money by saving it in a European bank. I'm going to sell my dollars, which would lower the interest rate, which would decrease the value of the currency, right? It would depreciate. And, and buy euros and then, and then invest my euros in a bank and get a higher rate of return, okay? So that's by changing interest rates, they can actually affect the exchange rate of their currency, and lastly, in order to invest abroad, investors will have to buy foreign currency currencies that that's exchanging their currency, T H E I R, on their currency and increasing the supply of it in the financial exchange market. And this should lower exchange rates. So, in order to invest abroad, investors will have to buy foreign currency. So, people from the United States would be like, "Well, I can invest in some European stocks and some European assets, European real estate." Um, and so they're going to sell their dollars, right, and buy euros. And as a result of changing the interest rates, then people will um, sell their dollars and buy euros, and that will push down the exchange rate. Okay? So I hope you found this, this video to be helpful. This last video is really helpful for your evaluation portions by realizing that by manipulating exchange rates, it's going to have an impact on inflation and unemployment. By manipulating interest rates, it's going to have an impact on, on the exchange rates. So it's pretty cool. The multi-layered uh, interdependency of all of these concepts really should be coming clear in your head by now. And that's what makes economics so fascinating. All right, I hope you thought this video was helpful. We'll talk to you in a bit.